Hello and welcome to my video. What we're going to do today is to make a dog. Probably we'll make a German Shepherd eventually. Now it'll be roughly this size and to achieve that we need to make an armature. An armature allows you to build up the shape obviously but it also creates, it gives you a lot of flexibility in the body, the head, you can put them into, pose them into different positions as you, as it's, as you require really. So basic armature that we're going to make would be suitable for dogs, cats, horses, and a lot of animals. When you're coming on to making a bird, you need a totally different armature. This has got armature in the wings as well something like a big bunny that's got a totally different armature but a giraffe is basically the same armature that we're going to make except the legs and the neck is a lot longer and the body relatively short so we take two pieces of wire this is two millimeter aluminium wire soft aluminium wire And what we're going to do, we need to make the leg up to the shoulder, the neck and the head. And we need that doubled, of course. So I find the midpoint. Okay, that's going to be the head. You don't want it coming too far forward because eventually you're going to do a lot of needlework, needle felting around the muzzle. So you don't want to be hitting the armature too often because you'll get through a lot of needles. So that's the neck and the head, and that leaves you with the front legs there. So bend those out like that so you've got an angle. Now, the rear legs and body measure it out. And we can do this against a, a photograph or a diagram or just use your own judgment. But make the legs, leave the legs long to start with because you can always adjust them. So that's the body and down to the rear leg and then doubled. And then find the midpoint. Just open it out a little bit so you've got a, that's going to be a shoulder joint. So put that, that the front, the head goes through there like that and then twist the body and rear legs around tight as you can and then body keep measuring against whatever you're using as a guide and then twist that together quite well tight and then bend it over and you've got a pelvic joint as well so there's your your frame your armature and then trim the legs as required to get into stand Now if you think the body looks a bit too long at this stage, you can just twist it and that will take up a bit of the length. Yeah. So get your proportions right and the legs right and then you're good to go. So that's your armature. Next stage is to make his paws. Now what you want for that is some one millimeter wire. Again, soft aluminium wire. I buy all the wire off Amazon. It's quite reasonably priced. And cut cut it into you want Most animals have four 
nails. Uh, this is what we're making the more than the toenails. Um, most animals have four nails pointing forwards and they have a dual paw, uh, which you hardly ever see. Like birds, it's the same for birds, you make them exactly the same, except with birds you have two pointing fours and two pointing fours. So just cut off for each paw, you want four, three short ones and one long one. And then what we do is take some wool, whatever colour, I'm going to use black for this one, but some toenails on dogs or animals could be white. And then you want some PVA glue, this is just ordinary PVA glue, any would do, any sort would do as long as it uh, dries clear. And then run some glue along the end, just the last couple of centimetres really. And you just don't want very much wool at all, just you can see that very th good adage in needle first and always use less than you think you need. Because it's easy to add, it's a difficult job to take away. And just run that through that. That'll set pretty hard and ultimately you'll be able to trim the toenails. And then you carry on doing all 16. This is the tedious part of the job but one that requires a little bit of concentration and it will give a very nice detailed result. And it's detail that we want really, isn't it? To get it right. Carry on. Make sure you cover the end. You don't want any shiny aluminium peeping through. Now we've uh, got all our claws made, so the next stage is to just add some of the finishing colour of the leg. And we don't, again, don't need very much at all. Oh, if we didn't do this, the toes would all stick to, be too, too tight together. So what we want to do is we're making the, the toe now, rather than the claw, we're making the toe. So wrap it around there like that, yeah, as you can see, yeah, goes a bit too much now, cut that a bit off, oops, and then 
then give it tight. A bit like that. Yeah. Doesn't matter about that because it's going to go into the into the leg anyway. So carry on doing that for all the others. I say this is the tedious part of the job, I'm afraid. But once it's done, it's done. And it's something to do while you're watching some rubbish programme on the television. That one. There we go. Keep it nice and tight. So you can see what we're achieving here. Let's pull it back so I'm going to show the claw. So I'll carry on doing that to all the rest of the year. Hi, so here we are. We've got all the legs done, all the paws. It's just a case of tidying them up, making sure we can see all the uh, claws. Right. It's disappeared. Them in a bit. My two toenails need clipping. And just turn them over. And the nails over with the pair of pliers because they wouldn't be sticking out the folds like that. Get them, it helps if they're facing the right way. That one's a bit long, so. Bit of a prune. That was good. That was good. They're all good, I think. They're a bit long. So, there we are. There's the legs, so we need to tighten up a bit yet. But we can get on and start building up the body. That leg's a bit thin, so we'll start there. So, when you're wrapping armatures, you want a ribbon like that. And what I tend to do is, is you can either felt it, just run along, just to tie, especially where it's thin, tie the fibres together a bit. Be like my felting pad, it's very handy. My wife made it with a piece of hessian and it's filled with um, wood wool. But I suppose you could use almost anything wheat or rice. Or now, when you're wrapping, you want to be as tight as possible, and you don't want that to happen really. You want a ribbon of wool. Not a rope. Yeah, you can see what's going on. Yeah, a nice ribbon of wool overlapping half as you go. You can do it that way or do it this way, whichever suits you best. But keep it tight. 
the tighter you do it, the less needlework you have to do. Until you get to the top, then you can, once you put the final layers on, you can slacken off a bit because what you want to do is fill the thigh flat. So we'll carry on. Start using a little bit more wool now. And that thickness of legs good. So we're starting from the middle leg up. I was catch on the wrong legs, of course. Always and out of the way. And this is where you want to just slacken off the tension a bit. Just keep it fairly slack, just lay the wool on. Right, you've got a nice thickness there. Let's felt it into position now. The cardboard wool, you always get some bits of hair stuck in it. the dog leg that's concave so it creates the shape of the dog leg literally shape there. Uh, we're using this bit of wool now. I want to go into a darker wool. The German Shepherd's quite dark really. Some are anyway. The legs tend to be quite light. is getting both legs looking the same. Come back to those later on because I need a bit more, but I need to get the body done next. I think. So we'll go on to a slightly darker wool. Mm. 